The Zowie XL2735 is BenQ's new flagship 27-inch gaming monitor, and it features the unique addition of side wings for making sure fellow gamers can't peek around and see your screen. It's certainly intriguing, but does that make it a must-buy? I'll get to that shortly. Elsewhere, this is largely a typical 27-inch gaming monitor. It's a 2560x1440 TN panel that can run it up to 144Hz, and it includes adaptive sync, so it works with AMD FreeSync. Because it's not G-Sync, you aren't limited for connectivity, so you get two HDMI and a DVI, as well as the DisplayPort that you'll need for FreeSync. Styling-wise, it's all rather utilitarian. The finish is all rough black plastic, aside from a small patch on the back, and you don't get a nice slim bezel like on the Dell S2716DG, for instance. You do, though, get a fully adjustable stand that includes a couple of movable markers that help you to remember exactly how you like to have your monitor set up. It looks and feels like a very niche feature, but it could come in handy. Definitely handy is the, well, handle on the top of the stand. You'll still want to use both your mitts to support the monitor fully, but it makes it easier to get a firm grip. The stand can also be removed and a vase mount used instead. Like this monitor's near identical predecessor, the XL2730Z, you also get a wired remote control for navigating the on screen menus. It works well, though, how often most people will end up using it, I'm not sure. Conversely, the pop out headphone stand on the side is a bona fide hit. It's such a simple addition, but so useful. Plus, you get the headphone and microphone jacks right alongside, and a couple of USB 3 ports. As ever from monitor headphone sockets, the sound quality pales in comparison to a proper sound card, but it gets the job done. All of which brings us to the wings. They're included with the monitor, but it's optional if you use them. They screw onto the side and can rotate through 180 degrees, so you can tuck them out of the way, assuming you've got nothing plugged in on the left-hand side. And the quick verdict is, they work. So if you're the owner of a gaming centre or run an eSports event, then go right ahead, this monitor might be the perfect thing for you. I'm just not sure what use most home gamers would have for them. All of which would be of little consequence if this monitor was priced right and had good image quality. Sadly, it has neither of these things. Image quality out of the box is atrocious. The default FPS 1 mode condenses contrast down to just 530 to 1, and also lowers the gamma right down, making for a totally washed out image. Great for seeing your enemies in the dark, but hardly the best way to show off a brand new monitor. What's more, it's not an entirely easy task to find a better option. Switching to the standard picture mode improves contrast, but colour temperature is still far too high and gamma too low. I ended up having to adjust the gamma option all the way up, turn off the image processing input lag reducing instant mode, and opting for manual colour temperature adjustment to finally get the picture in check. After all that's done, it's okay. You get the usual problems associated with the TM panel, such as poor viewing angles, a slight shimmering look to blocks of colours, and less text clarity than with IPS, but it's comparable to most other TM panels. It just shouldn't take so much effort to achieve that baseline result. Plus, considering it's a true 8-bit panel rather than 6-bit, I'd expect it to deliver better than 90.4% sRGB coverage, considering the Asus PG278Q manages 100%. And then there's the price. Right now it's selling for £600. That's absolutely crazy money for this quality of display without G-Sync, which usually adds an extra £100 or so to the price. For that money you can get the far better PG278Q, which includes G-Sync, or the Dell S2716DG is another G-Sync alternative for £500. Heck, you can even get the 144Hz IPS and FreeSync equipped Acer XF27HU for under £400. As such, this BenQ feels completely overpriced right now. Wait until it drops closer to £400 to even consider it.